Yeah, hey guys, it's again Mr. Maris and welcome back again to my YouTube channel. Okay, the topic of today is very, very important and someone inboxed me on Facebook uh, and this was his... Uh, and the guy was asking me like, hey Mr. Maris, uh, could you please help me? How do you calculate uh, and how do you calculate pips until you, con until you convert it to real cash so that when I'm putting my stop loss, I can know how much I'm losing? That is a very important question and very important topic guys so in this video i'm going to be showing you how you can calculate your pips direct to your card so you can know how much you're going to be losing in any trade you're going to be taking you can also know how much you're going to be making in any take profit that you're going to be doing i just i just don't want you to just be trading and be like i'm going to be making 50 pips but you don't know how much is 50 pips in your cash you understand that so this, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss most of my videos. And also leave a like to the video and leave a comment, guys. What do you want me to, which video do you want me to make? Uh, the video you really feel you don't understand and you really need more of my help, okay? So today is a cool day, guys. And let me just move on. And I wish you all the best if you're new to this channel. Just don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget that this, this video is being sponsored by Excellence. Excellence is one of the leading top brokers and trusted brokers that you can trust with. You can open your Sovereign account of Excellence. Just check below the description and click that link and open your Sovereign trading account of Excellence. You can also get me through my, my, my WhatsApp. My, my details are just on the description. Okay, you can just WhatsApp me and if you need more help, I can really see a way of helping you. So the, the topic of today is very important. I told you one thing, guys, that the most important thing in Forex is knowing your risk, okay? Knowing how much you're going to be losing and knowing how much you're going to be making in a trade because that is very, very important. Without that, you can never go far in trading Forex, okay? So this question is really very important. At the end of this video, you will know how to calculate that. What you only need is your calculator and even your Android phone. How to know how much you're going to be losing how, how how to convert pips to real cash so you can know way when you're putting your stop loss you're not just be saying i'm gonna be losing 20 pips but you're gonna be saying i'm gonna be losing 20 pips which is equivalent maybe to five dollars in a particular lot size so stay tuned to the video and keep watching the video don't forget guys that trading is very risky so you need to understand your proper risk management but before i move on and show you how to do this let me first define what what a pip is pip, pip is okay a pip is just a way of defining is just a way of defining money. You understand that? Instead of someone saying that my trade is running at maybe like twenty dollars, twenty dollars, someone will say that my trade is maybe running at twenty pips according to the load size that you're gonna be using. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you exactly in every load size, and I'm gonna be showing you enough examples in every load size how you can convert a pip to real cash in any load size and in any number of pips, and I'm also gonna be sharing you how you can put your stop loss and know very well the amount of pips you're going to be losing losing and convert those pips to, to, to real cash so you can know that, hey man, I'm going to be losing this amount of cash. So before taking any trade, you have to be ready and you have to be aware that if the trade goes against me, I'm going to be losing this amount of money. You understand? My advice to you before I move on is that guys, when you're taking a trade, ensure to do one thing make sure you understand how much you're going to be losing and make sure you're confident about the amount of money you're going to be losing because trust me risk risk management is the key way of making money in trading without risk management you're not going to go far so just stay tuned and keep watching the video i hope you enjoy it and i hope you love it and i hope it changes the way you trade be blessed guys so welcome back guys again it's mr miles and you see now we are going to i'm going to be so brief and so clear here guys i want you to know how you can calculate your pips to your real cash in any lot size that you're going to be using and also how you can know your pips let me just make the video a general for all that so we are going to use an example of usd chef okay so take for example this is our price let's mark okay let's say that is our price 0.9225 and we are expecting price to move up from this, from this point. We expect price to move up. So we expect we are buying. Okay, let's say we are buying SDGF. And let's say we ex we want you're trying to only risk 20 pips. 20 pips. So if if price moves from this point up to here for 20 pips, like I don't know where, then you stopped out of the market. But you don't know how much will that be in any lot size you're gonna be using. I'm gonna show you that. 
Okay, first of all, let me first show you how you can get the price of 20 pips from 0 0.9225. So what I always do, guys, is this. You look at this price. If you want to get the price of 20 pips, okay, for you to enter very fast, if you're not using your laptop, because you're not going to be moving your cursor every time. Let's say you have your phone. What I do is get this price, 0 0.92259, okay? I want you to ignore the last nine, ignore the last digits, and ignore the first nine two. So you're only going to take 25. So what you're going to do is you're going to subtract 20 pips, which you're expecting to lose, minus 25. You get 5. That is like 0, 0.5, okay? So now what you're going to do is your stop loss now will be 0 point, you're going to just fix it, 0 0.9205. It will be around here. So that is that is a stop loss of 20 pips. The price will be 0 0.9205. Now, if that is the price, then how much are you willing to lose? Okay. Let me show you now this. I want you to be very careful. If you're going to be using a lot size of, let's go to our calculator. If you're going to be using a lot size of 0 0.01, 0 0.01, and your stop loss is... 20 pips okay you're willing to lose 20 pips what you first do is very easy move this 0 0.01 to one decimal place it will become it will become 0 0.10 then multiply by the number of pips you're willing to lose or you're willing to make let's say we are willing to lose 20 pips times 20 pips we get two meaning that we are willing to lose two dollars so meaning that you can lose two dollars in using in 20 pips using a load size of 0 0.01 let me give you an example another example guys let's say you're using a load size of 0 0.10 and you're willing to lose 20 pips what you do is move this 0 0.10 to one decimal place let's move it it will be 1.0 times the pips that you're willing to lose 20 pips that will be $20, meaning you'll be losing $20 in a lot size of 0, 0.0, in a lot size of 0 0.10, and you're risking 20 pips. Let's go to another step. Let's say you're using a lot size of 1, and you're willing to lose 20 pips. Increase the stuff to one decimal place. That is times 10, which is, it will be 10 sharp. Multiply by, the number, num, multiply by the number of pips you're willing to lose times 20 pips. That would be $200. Meaning you lose $200 when you're using a lot size of 1 and you're risking 20 pips. I hope I'm clear there, guys. Let me give you again another example. Let's say you're using 0 0.20 lot size and you're willing to, you're risking SATA pips. Yes, SATA pips. First is move this 0 0.20 to one decimal place. That would be only two okay timers number of pips you're willing to lose 30 pips that would be 60 dollars i hope i'm very clear guys that would be 60 dollars meaning that you lose 60 dollars in a lot size of 0 0.20 when you're willing to risk 30 pips i hope i'm very clear there guys it still happens to your take profits even if you're using a lot size of 0 0.02 and you're saying that, okay, my take profit should be like something like 60 pips. Okay, for you to know the cash, what you're going to be doing is you first move this in mass to zero to one, this small place. Like that. Then multiply by the number of pips. You're willing to make like 60 pips. Yes. So meaning that you're going to make $12. Meaning that $12, you'll make $12 using a losses of 0 0.02 when your take profit target is 60 pips i hope i'm very clear guys the only thing which is very easy is move it to one decimal place if you're using a lot size of five move it to one decimal place you will add just zero in front if you're using a lot size of 10 you'll just add zero in front multiply the number of pips whether you're gonna be losing or making let's say 20 pips very easy it's really very very easy and then the other style of you knowing about uh, about your pips without you dragging the cursor if you're going to be using your PC every time. 
okay you're not gonna be moving with your pc every time it becomes very easy i just told you one thing if this is our our our, our current price 0 0.92256 and you're expecting price to move up so what you're gonna do is for you to if you if you yeah guys it's really very easy let me give you again another example so we are saying this is our price this is our price our current price 0 0.92259 if you want to know the price of 20 pips let's say you're expecting price of course to move up you're expecting price to buy from here to move up and so your stop loss let's say your stop loss should be like 20 pips so what i just do always is i ignore in this current price 0 0.92259 just ignore the last nine first that is the must okay then the first nine the first nine to keep it aside only deal with 25 you're going to only subtract 20 pips the number of pips you're willing to lose minus 25 that would be zero five so it therefore means that your price your your, your price for 20 pips will be 0 0.9205 okay so that is this point like 0 0.9205 around there is 20 pips that is 20 pips guys so let me give you again another example let's say still let's say still let's say still like this is your current price 0 0.9226 and you're expecting price to fall you're expecting price to sell from this price from that current price and so you you let's so let's say your stop loss will be will be up okay your 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 stop loss will be up so meaning if your stop loss will be up because you're expecting price to fall you're going to add let's say your stop loss should be 20 pips I always use 20 pips you're going to uh, you're going to you're going to add 20 pips to 26 just keep 9 to aside and ignore 4 so if you add 20 pips to 26 you'll be having 46 so your stop loss will be 0 0.9246 0 0.9246 around there will be your stop loss that will be the price for 20 pips that is how you can calculate your pips and mark into price very easily guys i hope you've understood me i wish you all the best guys stay tuned don't forget to subscribe to the channel and don't forget if you haven't you don't have a trading account don't forget to check the description open yourself an account with xness and start trading with xness if you need more of my help you can check my description on my 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 status my my this my you can check my whatsapp number on my description on youtube then you can maybe inbox me if you need more of my help check more videos about other blocks they're very powerful and they will help you i wish you all the best